when I when I first started Blue Study, I had painted this very luminous um, blue field that you can still see pieces of where there's no line work. And so, you know, it was this really rich color of blue that covered the whole surface that was, you know, it's about 12 feet wide and about nine feet tall. And a couple friends visited the studio while that was up before I had started drawing the lines and they said, Oh, it's finished. It's beautiful. Leave it like that. And I agreed that it was beautiful, but you know, to me, so much of my work and, and what I get out of the work is the process and the labor. And I, I guess I, I knew that that field of color was just too easy for me. And I wanted, I wanted to prove to myself that, Hey, um, I could, I could make it even more beautiful and B, I could conquer that thing that happens when you make something very beautiful and then you don't want to touch it, which is made even worse when other people say, Oh, don't touch it. <laughs> so there's sort of this, this fight against that preciousness, you know, that once you make something beautiful, you can all, all, often turn it into something precious. And I, I really don't want to do that with my work because once once I do that, then I'm no longer taking the same risks and I'm no longer putting myself in a place of the unknown and the uncertain, which I think is so important with the work that I do.